What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kumkichi Plays Dead Space. We just got done getting jumped by these two assholes. All the necromorphs are getting elite pro strategies now. They are getting way smarter than they were in the beginning of the game. We got to watch out more. I was really shocked by that one that just let me shoot it while I was laying on the ground and then came up to attack me when I got close. Oh, Not sure if I've ever opened one of those crates before. I wasn't even sure that you could. So, Isaac is hearing more voices in his head as usual. Getting lots of flame fuel. I would love to come to a shop so we can get our level 3 armor. I never noticed before how much uh, there's a glow from Isaac's face. It's actually a really cool little uh, addition to the game. It makes it feel more real. Damn, his face glows a lot. Oh, apparently there's no... Oh, no lighting when we're going down the elevator. Or just at certain angles, I suppose. It is a nice little, like, bluish green glow, though. I am pretty colorblind, though, so it could just be one of those colors. I always have issues with blues. Oh, we're just back here in the... What's going on? Uh, I'm just going right over here. Whoa! Hey, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, okay. Oh, you're you're still alive. That's that's great. I was just about to say that I was able to take my one shot, but apparently I was too cocky. He has no head and one arm, but he's still coming after me. Oh. oh, where are you guys all coming from? God, let me. Get out of my face. Yeah, yeah, I deserve that. When they run just on their hands, that is just terrifying. Oh, come on. As long as I can take out one arm on them, they're a lot less scary. I don't trust that you're dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, he chopped stuff, so I guess he is. That'd be the worst if they evolved to dropping the loot they had on them before they were dead. That would just be the ultimate troll. That would actually be kind of a funny thing to put into a game. Because you always expect that they're dead when you... when they drop the loot. So I feel like I've passed up like all of these crates without even knowing I could open them because there's no... Uh, prompt or anything. I mean, you just walk up to them, there's no prompt, but if you press A, they open. So, sorry if that, if you've noticed that, I would probably be pissed at seeing that myself. Oh, so now we're going into the other side of the elevator to, I guess, route the other power. Is there a Let's look for a star real quick. I have a map here. Okay. I have no map, so let's just go. Yes? Wait, I can select what level I go to? Interesting. Where am I supposed to go? Level 3? That's weird. I've never had the option to select a level before. Oh, look at this, even though I know I'm gonna get killed. Oh, there's three things, so... Okay. 
Oh, 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 there was a, a human there. And he said the same thing that Nicole said last time I saw her, or last time I heard from her. Let's make us whole again. The bridge is fucked. I don't know what went on in there, but I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back. I'm heading for hydroponics to find Elizabeth. Oh, the force gun, huh? Now we can use our force powers in a gun. We already have force powers that so we can just use, though. Okay. So maybe we'll find more sweet ass story over here. I assume that was a human that was walking over that way. So he said something to me before I came in here, but I didn't get a good look at him. I just want to open up these and not get jumped. So I, oh shit, it's a fat guy. I wonder if I kill him without hitting his stomach. If those things still come out. Oh, is that the secret? Do they really not come out? Interesting. So he is the real reason to. Um, I'm sorry. Change my weapon right now. Oh. Okay. What's this? Another stasis pack? I don't really need that. So this guy is a real reason to actually aim properly, even though I already fucked that up by shooting a bunch with my flamethrower, because that asshole jumped me. But that's a cool mechanic that, if I'm understanding that right at least, that if you shoot him properly in just the limbs, then his little guys don't come out. I thought that was a store okay. over there, but it was just a, a power thing. Look, I don't know about you, but I think I'm seeing things. My head's pounding still. I don't know. Just stay sharp, okay? So he says he's seeing things and his head's pounding, and Isaac, this whole time, has been hearing voices randomly and whispers as he goes along. So, I wonder if we're all just slowly being infected by being here. So there's two doors back there that neither one I can go into. There's two stasis packs. Do I... I only have medium med packs, so I don't want to use those. I have a bunch of schematics, if I could just find the store. Maybe I should go back and look for the store when I go back in here. So I have a feeling that there's one close by to where I uh, fought that monster the first time last episode, but I really can't remember. But I think it'll be worth doing a little backtracking just to free up our inventory and to get that level 3 suit. So let's just... Oh, what was that? Oh, missed all this stuff over here too. Is that something? No. Let's just run back in here real quick. Oh look, there's a store directly in this room. Well, that would have been... Good to know. I'm sure everyone was like, what the hell are you doing last episode? So let's definitely get this level 3 suit. Hell yeah. Let's check out what we look like. What's funny is he just goes in here and gets strapped in and then the suit gets back on him, so... It basically rips off his, all his clothes in there and then reattaches everything back on. Okay, it's got a lot more armor plating things on now. Only on his right arm. So hopefully I don't get flanked in the left.
His back is looking pretty sweet though. Let's see. Should sell our stasis pack, because we never use those. Pulse rounds. God, we have a lot of Ripper Blades. I don't think we're going to use those all that much. Flame Flow we need, Plasma Energy we need. I'm going to keep the Ripper just because it's pretty cool. Okay, so the things do get more expensive as you upgrade them, because the Plasma Cutter was 30,000 last time. Heavy Damage Energy Projector. Short Range Kinetic Booster Device. I don't think I'll ever use that. This one sounds important though. Heav heavy Damage Energy Protector. It looks like it's in a... in like the same shape as our Plasma Cutter. So I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna buy as many Plasma Energies as I can. I've never really looked at the alternate fire for some of the weapons I have. My friend told me that the flamethrower does a really cool compression blast, kind of like in TF2. I used that on that guy that we just fought before. So let's see here. We have this. How much ammo? I have four. Whoa, okay. So the alternate fire is to shoot it into the ground. And then the regular fire, I assume, is just shooting a really compressed uh, energy blast. What is the Ripper's alternate fire? Oh, okay. So for the alternate fire, you can just shoot the thing out and it doesn't hover there. That's pretty cool. Alright, moving on. Let's go down and rear out the power for the last one. And maybe at some point I'll use some of these extra weapons that we have. But right now I'm happy. I've gone over the MedSci reports. These things are biorecombinators. They take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others, well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Ooh, a habitat changer. Okay, so we're learning more about the necromorphs. So necromorphs are kind of like a parasitic alien, it seems, that takes over the body and recreates it in something else. Save here as usual. So that thing says it's a habitat changer, so it must have started taking over the entirety of the colony that they went down on. Okay. I knew those bodies looked suspicious there, but I didn't expect the door to just bust open. Doesn't look like I can do anything out there. Let's go in the storage. Hopefully nothing attacks me in here. Oh, what? Oh, this this room has oxygen and air? Oxygen and air, yeah. The room has oxygen for some reason. So, if I start to run out, now we can go in there. Let's do some more upgrades. Actually, I only have one power node, so I kind of want to save it in case there's a door that I run into that needs it. Because I don't want to miss any more of those like I did already. Hopefully I didn't miss any more already. Because you can get some cool story and stuff in those. And I like reading the story and learning more about the game. I hope you guys do too. Okay. So, the vacuum is only in that one little area, so it's just there to scare you. Oh, hey guy. What's with you guys dragging the bodies? Man, these guys take so much ammo. Is there anyone else in here? 
Well, I know that's a silly question, because of course there is. Oh. I wonder if that means there's one of the winged guys around here. And he's just in here creating all these things. Well, first things first, I'm gonna go through here and stomp these bodies so they don't get turned into those guys. Oh, maybe if I get that kinesis I can lift guys into these. That'd be cool. I wanted to lift his body, but there we go. Yeah. This is like those uh, skydiving things you can go into on the inside. He looks like he's having fun skydiving. And then, whoops. Oh, now it's raining body parts. Oh, I got some contact energy. Just one. So that thing must do a lot of damage if they give you that little ammo for it. Oh, see? What did I tell you guys? There's a power node door right here. I would have been pretty salty if I missed that. Gold semiconductor. Ripper plates. Hopefully there's some story in here. Is that audio? No. Oh, 5,000 credits and med pack. So that's 8,000 credits that I got just from coming in here. So technically we got enough to buy another... Oh, yeah, so 10,400 just in credits, so... It was definitely worth it coming in here because we didn't really... we just gained, we didn't really lose anything. Because the power node is only 10,000 credits and we got 10,400 plus uh, ammo. And I'm sure you guys are waiting for me to just accidentally run into one of those. What is this? It's a turned off computer. I'll probably have to press that when the power comes back on. These things are freaking me out. They're everywhere now. And there's an enemy. Is that the wing guy? Oh, what is he doing? Is that the... What is he doing? Oh, that's the baby. Hey, baby. Um... You just... Die just from touching it? That's, uh, interesting. Are you dead? Are you faking it? I don't trust anyone in this game anymore. This bullshit, like, faking dead stuff. He didn't even drop anything for us. I do love the strategy of just leading them into the gravity things, though. That was pretty fun. Oh, here's our button to boop right here. So if we get massively jumped in here, they're gonna have a bigger problem than I am. But the ADS cannon's order targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. Hey, here are the babies. Aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. Take the elevator to the top of the ship and head for the cannon pit. Um, really? You want me to manually shoot things with the cannon? Oh, there you are. That was weird. He was unaffected by the gravity thing. What happened to you? Why are you half dead? Oh, did he remake you even after I stomped the bodies? I guess that's possible. But he may have just came out here crippled. What is that? It's always good to run away a bit to get some a better viewpoint on these guys. I heard one of them. I don't see anyone though. Oh, maybe he was one of the guys hanging up there. No? 
There's still buff up there. So now I have to go back to the third floor where I already was, so... That was probably the place I was supposed to go last. Oh yeah, forgot about this vacuum. They made this whole vacuum just for the fun of having those guys get sucked out the door. That was pretty funny. And now we are back to the bridge, I believe. Oh no, we're here. Okay, so for now I'm gonna go back to level 2 real quick. Since we are at the 20 minute mark right now. So we'll go over here to the save point and save and come back next episode and fire some cannons. It actually sounds really fun, so we'll see how that goes. Once I find the save point. No, oh, that there was one here. Was it down here? Oh, here it is. So that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to be shooting asteroids with a cannon. So that sounds like a blast. So, I hope you guys liked this episode. If you liked it, please like and comment. And subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And be sure to check me out on social media and the links. Have a good one.